So after months and months of leading players on a wild goose chase, Sombra has finally been released for everyone to play. And we're here to give you guys a quick rundown of her abilities and how she fits into the current state of Overwatch. First up on her ability list is her Machine Pistol. Now, this is not a very strong gun by any means, but it's a very fast one. It's good at close range, and it holds 60 bullets. So you might not have the strongest firepower out there, but you've got a lot of it. And much like Tracer, you're going to be running around pestering people, getting in, getting out, putting damage on people when it needs to be. And the way for her to get in is with her Thermoptic Camo, which turns her invisible and boosts her speed so you can get behind the enemy lines really, really quickly. You can use it to hide from people or as just a quick burst of speed whenever you need it. But be careful because if anyone shoots you, you'll drop out of the camo immediately. So heroes like Winston or D.Va shooting around randomly if they know you're there can be a huge threat to you. So if you do run into a little bit of trouble, she does have another ability, her Translocator. Now this is a beacon that you can either toss on the ground or even in the air, and afterwards you'll have 15 seconds to warp back to it until it disappears. So if you place it near your health pack and run into a little bit of trouble, you can warp out and heal instantly. Or you can use it to say, throw over a wall to escape people chasing you. But perhaps her most useful move is her hack. Now this is an ability that people have been speculating about for months and months, and we are wondering what hacking another player actually entails. Well, now that she's finally out, we know. So her hack ability is a mid-range channeled move where you hold it for a couple seconds and they'll get a debuff at the end of it. And hack does a number of things. First, you can hack a health pack to make it regen quicker, but also make it inaccessible to enemies. So any health pack you hack is your team's to keep. And there is no limit to how many health packs you can hack, as long as you keep refreshing it after 60 seconds. And you can also hack enemy heroes, disabling all of their special abilities. That includes, but is not limited to, Genji's Reflect, Soldier's Sprint, and even Torbjorn's turrets become inactive. So if you're looking to lock someone down who you know is going to run away, you just hack them. Now, it doesn't shut down every ability. Things like Zarya's shield or some ults will still stay active even after you hack them, but it's really, really effective at keeping them from fighting back. And if they do manage to get away from you, this is where Sombra's opportunist ability comes into play. It allows her to see enemy heroes through walls if they have less than 50% health. It's really useful and it's a great way to keep eyes on whoever ran away from you, so you can find them, hack them, and finish them off. And if you're looking to hack multiple people, well, look no further than Sombra's ultimate, her EMP. Now, her EMP unleashes a huge bubble of electromagnetic energy, and it hacks everyone within a very large radius. So what you want to do with it is get behind the enemy lines with their camo, unleash the EMP, and then translocate back, leaving the whole team kind of discombobulated. But communication is the key with this because your team needs to know when you're going to EMP so they can take advantage of the enemy team not having shields up or being able to use any of their abilities. So if you're looking to play Sombra, I would advise to you to stay hidden because once you're spotted, camo isn't going to do anything to escape. The translocator and hacked health pack combo is a pretty good thing to fall back on, but I think if you're in a bind, I would use the translocator to confuse the enemy. You would throw it behind them, teleport, and then immediately camo away. With Sombra, it's all about staying unseen and hacking only when necessary. And if you're trying to figure out what matchups to press and which ones to avoid, I would say to go after people who are already at low health. Now this is a given for any damage dealer, but especially for Sombra since she can take away other people's abilities. Other heroes with escape abilities, those are the ones that you want to hack and either pursue them or let your team finish them off. Otherwise you're going to have a lot of freedom to attack whomever you want, mostly because of the translocator. But I would say watch out for tanks because, you know, Winston's and Divas are going to ruin your day if they know you're around. But if you stay steadfast and strong, you'll have a field day infiltrating the enemy team and hacking everything in sight. For more Overwatch coverage, visit GameSpot.com or check out the YouTube playlist to see our guides for the other 23 heroes.